Hi, my name is Kamakshay Musnaru. I am a data scientist and an academic. Uh, this is one of uh, my video presentations which uh, that belongs to a series of presentations related to a web application which I created just recently uh, for survey data analysis. The name of the application is ADSBA and I explained uh, how to import the data sets and also descriptive data analysis and in this video guest I'm going to show you how to perform predictive data analysis right now there are only four statistical techniques available under this uh, menu and in my future development I, I'm going to add a uh, few more um, and uh, there is uh, I did not implement the prediction uh, through this uh, menu uh, it just to display the data analysis output for uh, that particular statistical technique once you import the data set and uh, right now mm, this web application supports only C dot csv data formats once you import the data set then go to the statistical tests um, there are only four methods available here i mean there are only four tests available here and there are also already references i mean you can click on this uh, html uh, links uh, to study what are the tests. Uh, the very first one, first let me choose the variables. And as you know, these are the uh, four of the statistical tests to test the normality of the data variables. There are three types of uh, tests here. First two tests support the uh, univariate normality test, and the third one is for bivariate normality test, and the fourth one is for multivariate normality test now let me choose the variables i think you know the to test the normality the data variable must be numerical non-categorical perhaps i mean uh, of the type ratio ordinal something like that i have few ordinal data variables satisfaction one by default the radio button is selected i mean selected for ad test which means uh, anderson darling test uh, if you want to know more about the Anderson Darling test, you just have to click on this particular link. Go there, study well, and come back and try to interpret. This is the test statistic. You have the p value. The p value for this data variable is greater than 0 0.05. So, at 5% significance level, it is not possible for me to reject the null hypothesis, which means uh, I didn't have sufficient evidence in support of the alternate hypothesis that the i don't know what exactly is uh, the null hypothesis and i'll wait for a few seconds normally this uh, uh, m most of the normality test uh, uh, has an alternative hypothesis that the the underlying distribution is normally distributed now here uh, since the p value is po greater than 0 0.05 at 5% threshold value I mean 5% significance level we cannot reject the null hypothesis which means the data normally distributed however if you see the QQ plot the data seems to be roughly around the QQ line which means it's not totally normally distributed strictly normally distributed but a rough um, conformance to normality can be found uh, in this uh, data variable now you can choose the Shapiro Wilk test. The QQ plot will not change. It is uh, it is there as it is, but uh, you will find the output different uh, compared to the previous test. And here, this is the statistic for the Shapiro Wilk test, and p-value is 0 0.11. I think the Shapiro test uh, seems to be very strict in uh, accepting the null hypothesis. So we don't have sufficient uh, uh, sufficient evidence in support of the alternative hypothesis. So we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the underlying distribution, that is this particular variable, is in conformance with the normality property. Okay. Now the third one is the bivariate test. You need to choose one more variable. So these two variables together, do they follow normality, or do do they obey the normality? property something like that now this is a test statistic that is the KS step KS test stand for the Kolmogorov's minnow test 
the p value is 0 0.90 even this test for the, 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 the is not able to reject the null hypothesis so the p value is greater than 0 0.0 0.90 which is greater than 0.05 at 5% significance level we cannot reject the null hypothesis so the these two variables shows the property of bivariate normality something like that now the last one is the multivariate shapiro wilk test and uh, this test can allow n number of variables and this is the test statistic and the p value is this the p-value is just like shapiro wilk test, uh, same as it is 0.1111. So this test also in agreement with the null hypothesis that the 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 data in fact multivariate normal, something like that. Now let me take you to the next uh, statistical test. Sorry, next te statistical technique which is correlation. Right now the web application supports only the bivariate correlation. I may be able to provide uh, multivariate correlation even if it is possible canonical correlation in my next uh, development uh, level. If we need to choose uh, two numerical variables, now I am going to choose these two uh, ordinal data variables. Default uh, uh, method is the Carl Pearson uh, correlation coefficient R and now this is the uh, Carl Pearson correlation coefficient which is positive but not so strong this is the 95 percent confidence interval for the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient and this is the significance test I mean we call this is the co correlation significance test now if you look at the p-value it is greater than 0 0.05 far away from the 0 0.05 at 5% significance level, it is not possible for us to reject the null hypothesis that the rho or the k rho is actually the is the the correlation in the population. So, uh, but in other words, I can just simply say, I mean, to to put it very short, that uh, the 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 relationship between these two variables is not uh, significantly away uh, from the zero the value zero excuse me um, so the value I mean um, is not a significantly uh, away from the value zero which means rho is equal to zero though there is some certain effect in in our sample but in population it is not possible for us to I mean this value could be zero something like that and now uh, there is another method Spearman rho uh, here, the I mean, Carl Pearson is 0.12, but Spearman Rho is 0 0.03. Uh, but uh, Spearman Rho is useful for the for the ordinal data, but for the continuous numeric data, Carl Pearson test is useful. And there is another one, other method which is called Kendall Stowe. Uh, these are the three methods right now implemented through this web application. Um, in future development, I must be able to provide you more uh, techniques related to correlation analysis. Now, let me take you to the regression. Uh, regression, right now, this web application supports simple linear regression. And uh, uh, you can uh, visit this uh, site for more description on the simple linear regression. I need to choose the variables. Uh, for simple linear regression, here the, there is a there's a there, there's a regression plot. It's not exactly a regression plot. It's just a scatter plot with a diagonal line. I mean, ab line. We call it as an ab line in our programming language. There are three methods here. Uh, first one is the fit. This is the regression fit. You will see the intercept and uh, the slope in fit. But in summary, you you are going to have the statistical test. If you see this data. The intercept appears to be significant, statistically significant, but whereas the slope is not significant. Uh, there, there is other information also available here: residual standard error, degrees of freedom, and the fit index like uh, R squared, adjusted R squared, F statistic, and P value. Uh, you can read more about the simple linear regression at this link provided under the sidebar layout. Uh, some extent, uh, the R squared value is. Uh, need to be 
close to 1 which means is it cannot be 1 but uh, 0 0.999 something like that but looking at this value I can't say that uh, there exists uh, a perfect fit between these two variables because the value is close to 0 and even adjusted R square is negative so it is not possible for us to this data doesn't support uh, simple linear regression something like that anyway this is only fictitious data but you will be having real data with you so y you please try to implement this uh, method or technique on your real time data uh, there is also ANOVA method which we can implement here this is just like an ANOVA table like sum of squares means comma sum of squares f value and p value uh, ANOVA is for uh, I think I just ragged let's wait for some time yeah I think uh, I lost the no problem doesn't matter uh. so regression uh, let's go for one two and an hour so here this is the p-value p-value is greater than 0 0.05 so the null hypothesis for an hour is going to be variance of the variable one is equal to variance of the variable two and we have complete uh, the data supports the null hypothesis that uh, the variances are almost uh, equal together equal to each other so the difference between the variance of these two variables is not is equal to zero so this is all about the predictive data analysis as i said uh, uh, there is another one called Mal manova this is just like a general linear modeling uh, kind of thing and here the dependent variables can be numerical variables and independent variable can be a factor now this is a scatter plot for MANOVA method uh, you can find the estimates here the estimate for response 1 which means for all these variables together is 0 0.05 and the response 2 is going is 2.62 and if you go for the summary you'll be having uh, ANOVA kind of thing like uh, the the difference between the ratios is equal to zero that is a null hypothesis here you can see the p-value is 0 0.6 0 0.58 something like that so we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the difference between the variance of these two uh, factors is in fact is equal to zero something like that so this is all about the predictive data analysis and i'll be providing you more and more statistical techniques in my future development of the web uh, application uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please press like button and stay tuned for the new content. Don't subscribe to, s don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.